Hello and welcome to News 6. Today's show features the 6th grade class of Trinity Lutheran School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Since most of you are students in Ohio, we would like to introduce you to our city. Here to do that is Anne. Fort Wayne is named after General Anthony Wayne, better known as Man Anthony Wayne. In 1794, General Wayne built a fort on the site of our city. He built the fort near the point where three rivers meet in Fort Wayne. One of the rivers is the Maumee River, which also flows throughout, throughout Ohio. An authentic reconstruction of Fort Wayne can now be seen in an actual site where it was built many years ago. If you visit the fort, you might see people acting out the lives of the fort dwellers in the early Fort Wayne period. Fort Wayne is more than just a historical city. It is an industrial city with factories that make products used all over the world. For example, the space program and the Navy use a lot of products from Magnavox and General Electric. International Harvard, Harvester makes trucks that ship products to all parts of the nation. If you, have a, a, if you have an apple tree in your backyard, it might have been planted there by John, Johnny Appleseed. The man, this man traveled the Midwest many years ago and planted apple seeds as he went. Many think that Johnny Appleseed is just a legend, legend, but there is proof in Fort Wayne that he was real. He is buried in Fort Wayne and his grave is considered a natural historic site. Each spring in Fort Wayne, a group of citizens hold a festival to honor John Chaplin, otherwise known as Johnny Appleseed. He is called the Johnny Appleseed Festival, and it is held near the, his gravesite. What do we do for fun in Fort Wayne? Scott has the answer to this question. Many students in of Trinity Lutheran School spend a lot of their spare time at Frankie Park. There, a person can use his new toboggan slide, which has a big steel launcher to push a toboggan up to the speed of 30 miles per hour. It costs 30 cents for each ride, and someone must be there to operate the new slide. If the slide is not open, there is always a huge hill at Funky Park and that also makes for, for an exciting ride on the toboggan. Do you enjoy reading comic books? If you do, it is unlikely that you enjoy reading them as much as Joy Steinbiker does. Reading and collecting comic books is a hobby for Joy. He began collecting uh, collection, his collection over over 210 books of purchasing a comic book in a grocery store just two years ago. Since that time, he just can't stop collecting them. Although he still buys many of them in stores, Joy said he gets his better ones at garage sales or by trading books with other collectors. His oldest comic book is The Lone Ranger, which is about 20 years old. It, it originally sold for 10 cents, but now it is worth about $3. His favorite comic book is the issue of Superman, while his favorite comic book character is The Flash. Do you have any comic books you want to get rid of? If you do, there's one boy in Fort Wayne that would glad to be glad to take them off your hands. The past is still alive in Fort Wayne and Tammy will tell you why. The Old Fort Settlers in Fort Wayne are a group of ladies that meet once a month to make many things the pioneers had to make many years ago. They, they make yarn from sheep's wool and spin it with a drop spindle. To color the yarn, they dyed it with berries and other natural things. With the yarn, they can make blankets and pillows. The ladies also make candles and beeswax dolls and from, from corn husks. The Old Fort Settlers visit schools in our area and they actually let us help, men, let us help make many of the items. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be back in the 1800s? When you visit the center, the center School, located just outside Fort Wayne, you can find out. The school is 86 years old and it cost about $10,000 to rebuild. It is run by the teacher, Miss Linda Hugie, just like schools back in 19, 1893. For example, they did not have electricity, so they used a wood stove to heat the school, and the kids had to go outside to get the wood. Sometimes when your grandparents were going to school, they would get into trouble talking without permission. The penalty for this was the talking stick, which was tied around your head and placed in your mouth. Students made their own ink back but then by using walnut shells and ashes from the wooden stove. The ink was then placed in the ink wells found on their desks. Miss Hugie showed us many of the books that were used 
lifespan, and most of them are harder than the books we use today. It really is interesting to take a trip back in the 1800s by visiting the center school. I just hope our teacher doesn't have any ideas like using a talking stick if, we, if he catches us use, talking in class. Now with our final story, Richard. Back to Richard. Physical education classes at Trinity Lutheran are different this year. On Fridays during school, the 6th grade through 8th grade either go bowling, swimming, or ice skating. Right now we are going bowling on Fridays. The high score from the three classes belongs to Daniel Hosschild, a 7th grader. He has a high game of 178. We enjoy our Friday phys ed classes. Not only do we get our exercise, but it makes school a lot more fun. Thank you for watching News 6. Today's show was brought to you by the 6th grade class of Mr. Dave Schulenberg of Trinity Lutheran School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Next week, News 6 will feature the 6th grade classes of North Baltimore. Have a great week.